Another useful property of wave functions would be that they be normalized. What do we mean by normalized? Well, uh, we said that uh, the square of the wave function is equal to the probability density. And if we multiply that by some volume, that will give you the probability of finding a particle in a particular volume. If the volume is the entire universe, if we take the probability of density times that total volume of the universe, we expect that we will find the particle somewhere in the universe if it does exist, and therefore the probability would be 1. So if we take the wave function squared and integrate over all space, that's equivalent to taking the wave function squared and multipl uh, multiplying it by the uh, volume of the universe, we expect that quantity to be equal to 1 because the probability of finding the particle somewhere in the universe would have to be equal to 1. So this then adds a fifth property that we would like the wave function to have. So the wave function psi said should be continuous it should be single valued. It should be square integrable. Inter integrable. Not quite sure how to spell that. Uh, it would be nice if it were orthogonal. So one wave function be orthogonal to the other and also would be normalized. And uh, orthogonal is useful when we talk about, in the next uh, section here in the online lectures, about a basis set. All right. Normalized is required as is square integratable, single value continuous. Those four properties are required because we're interpreting the wave function squared as a probability density. And orthogonality, that fifth nice uh, property for a wave function to have makes our life much easier when we actually start to calculate energies and so on.